What's going on everybody? Welcome to Blind Power and today I want to give you some reasons why you should actually use the screen curtain when you're using voiceover. So, um, I know that a lot of people use it and some don't and the ones who are learning hate the screen curtain, especially visually impaired. But today I'm going to give you the reasons why you can actually use this voiceover curtain when you're using voiceover. So, let's get started. At number one, save battery. So battery saving, especially on the iPhone 10, since it's an OLED display, black pixels are turned off when the black screen is shown. In other phones, it helps reduce battery. However, on the iPhone 10 and any future OLED devices from Apple, it'll actually completely save more battery because your screen is essentially completely off. On the uh, iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 8, 8 plus or below, so 8, 7, 6, you know, before then, when they use LCD displays, it will help you save battery, but not as much as on the iPhone 10. If you have the iPhone 10 and you're using voiceover, I highly recommend it. On the iPhone 8 and below, I recommend it as well, but it's not as crucial. It, it, it'll probably save you about 10% on the um, iPhone 8 and below, however, on the iPhone 10, it'll save you probably a good 30 to 40 percent even if not more because your screen essentially will be completely off and number two privacy privacy is very important because if you want to use voiceover of course if you use headphones as well but you know using uh, this uh, voiceover curtain you can be entering your credit card information as long as you have headphones on in front of a sighted person they won't know what the hell you're doing to them it's just a black screen so that's very 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 cool um, that you can essentially use your phone and nobody sees what you're doing on the screen because you turned your screen off using voiceover curtain. At number three, the next thing that's actually good uh, for using the screen curtain is if you're learning voiceover. If you're learning voiceover and you're visually impaired or you're sighted and you're taking classes to uh, teach the blind, just turn on voiceover curtain. Believe me, you won't see anything on the screen and you'll be forced to rely on voiceovers, description of each item, and your eyes will be useless to your phone. That's a great way to learn because you're forced to use the gestures, you're forced to do things the way a totally blind person would, essentially. And it's very, very, very good. Honestly, when I learned voiceover, um, I had to use the screen curtain back in on the iPhone 3GS a couple times. Um, and honestly, it worked. Back then, though, the screen curtain was kind of gimmicky. But, you know, it was still there. It's been there since, like, the second firmware after the, the voiceover release. At number four, if you have the screen curtain on, it's actually not viewable by sighted viewers. So you could be doing whatever, and if a sighted person dares to steal your phone, they won't be able to use it because the screen curtain is on. And they won't be able to enter your password. They won't be, even if they know your password, they cannot do anything, um, honestly. And it's that's another advantage. It's essentially going to add another layer of security onto your phone. So only you or somebody who knows how to use voiceover can use your phone. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just as I enjoyed making it. If you're not, if you're not sure how to turn on the screen curtain, go ahead and triple tap with three fingers on your display, and voiceover will say screen curtain on. Do the same thing to turn it off. Um, screen curtain is available on just about any device including iPad, iPhone, and Mac. Uh, the only device that doesn't support the screen curtain is the Apple Watch. However, I'm fairly sure that there might be a way to enable it. I have not figured that out, but there probably is. Because um, the Apple Watch is also OLED, just like the iPhone 10. So, but uh, yeah, just that's, how, that's the things that, uh, you, that are an advantage to you for using the screen curtain on voiceover. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just as I enjoyed making it, comment, rate, really subscribe. You know what to do. I will see you in the next video. If you have any more suggestions or any accessibility things um, that you want to see, comment down below and uh, any suggestions are open. So see you in the next video. Goodbye.